Appliances, we're all into okay. that, right? Oh, it's, uh, it's the 90s. So home appliances, <laughs> are, you know, we're talking like dishwashers, washing machines. It all makes life easier until they break down. That's right. 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 And when that happens, what do you do? Definitely don't panic. Mm -hmm. You know what I would do? Call Adam Helfman, our home insider, improvement insider from HireItDone.com, and he's got great tips on how to find the right repair company to get the job done. The average homeowner opens and closes the refrigerator door multiple times a day. They wash their clothes on a daily basis. If you have appliances in your home, it's almost inevitable that they're eventually going to break down. Today we're going to learn how to find the right repair service technician. We're going to learn the average cost of repair and I'm going to give you some maintenance tips on how to keep your repair costs low. Most people tend to go online to research appliance repair. Well, let me tell you, the amount of results that you can get might be overwhelming. So here's what you do. Find a company that has a storefront. One that's been in business at least five years, that tells you they're well established. Once you've found an appliance repair company, start with questions about how much a basic service charge will cost. Most companies charge an average of $75 just for coming to your house and assessing the problem. This means if they can't fix it or don't have the parts to fix it right away, you're still on the hook for the appointment. So what you want to do is avoid companies that charge by the hour. You should request an itemized bill that breaks down the labor and the materials. The average appliance that's being repaired is about 10 to 15 years old, and the average appliance repair cost is about $160. However, that price is going up. The reason why is the expanded use of electronics. That has raised the price. Over 50% of all appliance repairs are on your dryer. The most common part that fails is the belt or the fuse. There are several ways to help lower the cost for appliance repair. First, you really need to know the difference between what needs to be repaired and what should be replaced. Let's take a washing machine for example. I use this formula. If it's over 10 years old and the repair is over $200, you should take a really hard look at buying a brand new washing machine. Here's another tip. Be as detailed as possible when you're calling an appliance repair company. The more information they have over the phone, the better they can prepare for your repair. <music> Lastly, your appliances don't have an odometer, so it's important to refer to your owner's manual and perform the routine maintenance at least once a year. Adam Helfman is with us from HireItDone.com. He always has the best tips on stuff. Thank you. You we make it them. really easy. Now, the best way to prevent a breakdown is to keep up with the maintenance of your machines, right? Yeah. So give us some tips on that. What do we have here? So as you know, the appliances that usually break are the ones that have moving parts. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you've got to maintain your washer, your dryer, mm -hmm. dishwasher, whatever it is. And the way to do that is to either keep it clean, because if you get crud or dirt keeps it dirty, mm -hmm. that would break down. That's why they have this product. Um, it's called a fresh, and it's basically a capsule that you run a cycle with it, mm -hmm. and it'll get rid of the mold, the mildew, any soap buildup, oh, interesting. any other thing like that. So that will extend the life of your washing yeah. machine. Because if you've got yeah. five kids and you're always mm -hmm. running that machine, Daddy, Grandpa, yeah. I'm a holly yeah. jolly. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta keep up. I with need this now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's good. So that get that clean. Yeah, keep your washing machine yeah. clean. So it's always good. Um, here, let me just. I brought some stuff today just okay. so we can take a look. So this is a little fuse. Okay. And this is the number one part that that breaks down in a. Wow. Clients. Yeah. Okay. So the th the key is it's inexpensive, but it needs to be installed properly. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's all the way in the back, upside. You got to really get into it. Okay. Pull your thing out. So the key is to hire the right guy to come do that. Okay. Sure. The second most uh, part would be the uh, door lock. Your your washing machine's finished mm -hmm. the cycle. It locks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, it, and the lights off. And it right. always, this little part here is what moves all the time to lock it from being mm -hmm. open. Okay. So it breaks. Oh. So when you're calling a, an appliance repair company. It's important to be specific because over the phone, they'll direct you and guide you right. into what might be the problem. Mm -hmm. And so we're lucky because we have Bill and Rod's appliance here in Metro Detroit, mm -hmm. who was with sure. us before. They will service that and they'll over the phone give you all the advice you need. Sounds good. Sounds the other awesome. part that we have is the um, washer, the, the, the belt. Okay. This 
goes bad. Now, they used to be one inch thick. Right, mm -hmm. right. But over time, cutting costs, cutting mm -hmm. manufacturing. So this is what happens. That's it, really? That's yeah. a slim wow. little bill. That yeah. is. Yeah, that's right. And it okay. you know, again, once it's 10 years old, and you got to repair, and you start hearing squeaks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Sure. It might be time to start considering a new appliance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a new and you washing can get machine. brand new ones for two ninety nine that work right. great. So. So that's why you said <clears throat> ten years or two hundred dollars. Exactly. If it's more than that, just get something new. Now what's this yeah. for? Because now okay. I, I can clean both ears at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like this is it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so besides cleaning your ears, um, <laughs> this is for your dryer vent. Okay. And a lot of house fires every year in the thousands sure. are wow. started by house fires, so you got to wow. clean your dryer vent. So you get in there, yeah. get it out, awesome. and you're good to go. That's, that's, that's smart. It. That's our Adam. Yeah, and it's very inexpensive. All this is very inexpensive. So proper maintenance and doing it right saves you money Save in the long run. Okay. Sure does. All right, there's a lot of good information in Adam's segment, uh, of course, and finding a repair company is critical. You might want to write down Adam's tips. Uh, you can go online, find those, all posted on the website at clickondetroit.com. That's right. So yes. also, count on Hire It Done to help you find the right contractor or technician. Listen, this service is free to you. Just go to hireitdone.com, and when you register, this is what I love, you get key questions to ask every contractor before you hire them. Good deal. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, Always here with great, great tips for us. So 